studies in science. Uh, I, I try to make science alive for them uh, as, uh, and for them to love it as much as I loved it. And I think I managed <laughs> quite a while. Uh, and I was always trying to do these extracurricular activities after school. Uh, I, I formed a science club where um, children who would normally wait for their parents to come home or they'd get a takeaway meal or something, they'd, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, they, they'd come to the science club. And I would uh, not only just help them with their science homework, but also introduce them to things that were a little bit off the curriculum. And I introduced them to a subject called Curlian Photography. And it was a, shall we say, opening for me that has brought me to here today, really. And it started with Curlian Photography. And I must give credit to Semyon and Valentina Kurlian from the Ukraine, who were the inventors of the system. Now, some people say that before them, Tesla had noticed the effect, and we must give credit there too. But anyway, Kurlian photography is a high voltage, high frequency system, which can take um, uh, electrical pictures of any object. And you can see a field around it. In fact, Semyon Kurlian uh, was an electrical engineer. And he was asked to uh, service some high voltage electricity in Russia and uh, his hand strayed into the field of a, of a transformer that should have been switched off. And he noticed a glow around his hands and he was just fascinated by this effect. And um, he uh, made a home device and from that time their legend was set in motion. Mm -hmm. And I made a little device. Uh, I must mention the book. It's a, uh, I don't, it, it can still be got, I believe, on, our, uh, on the internet. It's called S uh, Psychic Discoveries Behind the Iron, Iron Curtain, Curtain yes. by Ostrander and Schroeder. A classic. Yes. Yes. And it brought Curlian photography for the first time to the West. There were schematic diagrams in the back of the book that any scientist or, uh, uh, or someone with engineering skills could follow. I set up a, a Curlian camera for the kids, Curiosity Mania and mine. And we started with the phantom leaf effect. And we started, it, there's a, a phenomenal effect. Uh, I showed them in my presentation yesterday, the leaves, of where you can remove leaves for, from a plant, I've discovered that should be organically grown. And you can see where you've removed the leaves, the phantom image of where the uh, energy, uh, the physical uh, leaf was. And I believe, and the, uh, the, the uh, Curlians believe that it was a, some kind of subatomic energy field matrix on which the physical molecules were formed. I la later took it further with my PIP system, which is uh, the development all those years ago of Curly Photography, but now it's computer-based, and it, instead of using electrons and electric fields, it uses light to, to uh, photons to show the effect. But basically, I've even been able to show phantom limbs. I was just going to ask you about phantom arms limbs. Mm -hmm. and, and things uh, uh, of human beings, of course. Well, in fact, some of what you show is is truly stunning. I'm, Thank I'm you. So, I'm so grateful to be able to sitting with, be sitting here with you because this is the real bridge between the worlds. The people that say, "Show me," seeing Absolutely. is believing. The world of energy, the world of I thought. I went through a stage healing. in my development uh, uh, when I was uh, at university, uh, being shall we say, uh, embracing the scientific logic of going through that phase where I um, dismissed uh, things I was interested like, interested in, like the psyche and the paranormal, because um, the, it, the reproducibility was a problem. But the very fact uh, that that little squirrel yes. that was here earlier, yes. if you put him in a Faraday cage, uh, all screened and wired up to electrodes and things, and asked him to act like he's just done normal to repeat his behavior and repeat the experiment it would be impossible for him to do and that is a characteristic of nature you know and we human beings are putting things into test tubes and petri dishes for reproducibility and everything but that's not how nature does it and this is has taken me all these years to get back to way how nature thinks uh, uh, God, God created nature in my opinion of course yes and so you're now showing all of the elements of nature that are normally veiled from the human eyes because we're not I, I, able I, I, yet to see into these subtle realms. You can now. You personally can you personally see into the subtle no, realms? No, no, I can't. Just your equipment sees. But I your equipment have been sees blessed it. with that, as one clear boy <laughs> mystic told me. She said, "Do you know, Harry? If you'd been given my gift, you probably wouldn't have made a 
any kind of apparatus so at all. So true. I, I would have sat back on my lovers and been quite satisfied with the auras <laughs> I'd see around people and, uh, you know, what the energy for my food and, 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 and the, uh, the spectre walking down the, uh, the castle wall or whatever. And I would have been happy with and satisfied because I've got that ability. How true. But I hadn't, but I knew other people had. Mm -hmm. So I got modern technology to a state where it could photograph that it could record it and it, it although um, you know uh, I can't r r where I was in Gettysburg last year I probably if I went back to Gettysburg again I wouldn't be able to record exactly the same phenomena but it will record phenomena and will you talk about Gettysburg for a moment I would be delighted fascinating. Uh, in fact I'm hoping I, I went I might by the way uh, with the invite of Dr. Brian Daly I believe you might be uh, speaking to later, yes. uh, who was my co-presenter here at iSIMS. And uh, Dr. Daly is uh, uh, the most wonderful physician. In fact, he won the, um, the uh, top physician of the ward of the United States, uh, two years running, I believe. Amazing and that's the caliber of scientists that I'm working with here in the United States, which I'm greatly privileged to be doing. Mm -hmm. Talk about what happened when you went to uh, Gettysburg. Certainly. Well, uh, we uh, decided that uh, uh, we would go to some of the old battlefield sites, obviously, and um, we we were panning around with our equipment, and I caught on uh, on um, on film um, what looks like a, a soldier holding a rifle uh, in what looks like a, 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 a uniform of that time period. We also got near a barn, which was supposed to have been a Union uh, hospital uh, at the time of Gettysburg's um, battle, uh, used as an as a, uh, emergency hospital. And we saw two soldier figures in, in hats um, uh, near that uh, particular structure. Mm -hmm. And it was quite uh, fascinating. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, absolutely. In fact, this is a, another area that has always been a great mystery to humankind. Well, it has been in more recent times where we've become more disconnected with the truth, and that is the whole subject of life after life and what are we, and the, the notion of a soul or an astral body or a subtle field. Absolutely. If we're talking, going back to Curlian and Pip and mm -hmm. everything else that shows up energy, if we are energy beings, you know, and uh, energy can neither be created nor destroyed, um, when this uh, mortal coil is shed, the, the physical molecules go, there is energy that is left. And if we have something called conscious coherence, which most of us have hopefully in life, that should continue. I'm of the vein of scientists who believe in something called the mind-brain non-locality theory, mm -hmm. in which although mind does work through the brain, it sometimes works when the brain is shut off, like with anesthetic or near-death experiences, when the brain was not physically functioning, yet consciousness was uh, there and recalled later on recovery of that said human being from their experience. And with your equipment, you're able to substantiate or validate this because you can actually see the energy flows ab Very around the so. body. The, uh, the, perhaps the, the, I should cite here the most mysterious of this was when I did work in a morgue in, uh, in the Mediterranean.